People often want to have a more finished look when they go into visualization. If you're working with interiors, having seams and stitches makes a big difference visually. The operation of adding stitches and seams into the design has been laborious until this release of Alias. With 2016, there's been a great effort in streamlining common workflows, and Stitch and Seam is a new tool which combines hundreds of operations in one simple-to-use interface. The new Stitch and Seam tool rests in the palette under Surfaces. It currently provides three options, Join, which is a seam, French, which is a seam and a straight stitch, and Baseball, which is a seam in an X-like pattern of stitches. You can use either a curve on surface or the edge of a surface for this operation. We'll start by creating a seam on the curve on surface. Because I have chain select on, when I select the curve on surface, the complete curve is selected. Hitting the spacebar for both select and build creates my seam. The white and blue arrow show me the direction of the seam. With most tools of this type, we can modify the range or adjust the start and end. In most cases, I like using the extend for both start and end to ensure that the surface extends beyond the host surfaces. For seam, offset controls the length of the seam into the surface. Depth controls how deep the seam is. Shape controls the approach of the seam. Gap tool allows you to put a gap between the seam edges. And bulge controls the height of the bulge going into the seam. Common to many tools of this interface are an A and B control. This controls which sides gets the option. The trim type is set to curve on surface. Switching to automatic will automatically trim the surfaces. Next, we'll create a French seam and stitch. After selecting the top surface chain, we'll select each adjacent surface. While experimenting with stitches, turn Quick Stitch on and trim stitches off. This will speed up your operations. And then once you've determined all the parameters, reverse the order of these switches to create the final surfaces. The Stitches control panel is added and gives us control over the stitch parameters. The final seam type is the baseball stitch. The stitch spacing probably should be adjusted to the same as the stitch length. After building this, the stitches don't look right, and this is because the depth is set too low. Reducing the depth to 1 makes a great stitch pattern. Since I'm done experimenting with my stitches, I will make the final stitches by turning off the quick stitch and turning on the trim stitches.
The last operation is to assign a light fabric to the stitches. This will help your operations inside of VRED. I'll switch to Visualize to expose the material palette. By extending the object lister to the auto stitch, we can see that there are two seams and two stitches. I'll select the first stitch and assign the lighter color. Then I'll repeat the process for the second stitch. In just minutes, we've been able to create seams and stitches that will be used inside of VRED. This process has moved from a laborious process to something that can be done by most alias users in a minimum amount of time.